This is another one of my favorites that I've built recently. What is this thing called again? Flying Wing SSTO. Let's take this off from the, the desert. Alright, full throttle. Brakes are off. So I have liquid fuel and oxidizer in the tanks here on the sides. I'm gonna pitch up very soon. There we go. Gear up. This one's sweet, I love this design. Alright, as soon as I hit close to a thousand meters per second, I'm gonna start pitching up. Okay, I'm gonna pitch up to about 30. The nice thing about this design is that the wings here, the big S delta wings, can take a ton of heat. And you're not gonna have any trouble. Whoa, 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 okay. So, this engine has lost fuel. I'm going to flip to prograde, hit 2 to switch to closed cycle mode. So you can see I almost went into a flat spin there. So that is the trick with this design. Flip to closed cycle before you think you need to, or before you would normally with other SSTOs. Apoapsis is now definitely high enough to make orbit. We have a suborbital trajectory, flipping prograde, firing. We're just going to watch and see if we can get orbital. I think we can. Eighty oxidizer left. We got it. Not much wiggle room, but we've got a polar orbit. And we can spin this thing around. The interesting thing would be seeing if we can land on the Space Center. I think it'll be the next rotation coming in. Yeah, I think this will be it. I'm going to go retrograde at the end of that orbit. Okay. We're retrograde. We're not retrograde. I'm out of electric charge. This thing doesn't have solar panels, uh, which is a big oversight. Man, if this works. So I'm betting that we're in a polar orbit. The flying wing is coming in. I'm burning retrograde. I have 19 units of oxidizer left. And I'm going to try to land this thing. That's already too low. I think we're more likely to land on the North Pole or on some of the highest mountains on Kerbin. So let's see where this goes. Yeah, solar panel would have been great. In typical fashion, you forget a part that turns out to be important, right? Yeah, look, I, I'm trying to flip prograde. I can't. So I'm just going to flip these things into air breathing mode so that when they can pick up electric charge, they do. Give myself a little bit of throttle. I think the North Pole is going to be easier. That is a long way from those mountains to the Woomerang launch site. Like I said, I'm coming in over 2,000 meters per second. And heat is not really a problem. I also have no stability control and this thing is coming in stable on a prograde vector. So like I said this is one of my favorite designs for an SSTO. It's like simple also extremely effective. Um, if I wanted to slow it down I could Oh shit, something flew off. We're gonna slow down. I lost a wing. Alright, we're doing this live. No no quick saves, no nothing. Let's see what we can do. This is gonna be extremely difficult. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I have 109 liquid fuel, this should be fine. You can see I'm moving at an odd angle. 
hit the thrust limiter on this left engine and cut it in half and see oh my god this is bad okay and for some reason the the engines are not generating liquid fuel, uh, electricity no they are they are, but I'm using so much to try to keep this thing stable. Damn, alright. Yeah, let's cut this to 50. We're gonna try to do this real slow. 50. 50. Jesus, okay. This is gonna be really, really, really tough. This is not good! Alright. Lost a wing, so should have gone radial out, slowed down, not blown up parts, land on the North Pole. Um, we'll go back to the Space Center. There was another great one that I built recently. The Panther was amazing. This guy has four panther engines that detach and then use something like 28 spider engines to take it into orbit.